1980-something jet bandsaw. Reinforce the top with this 3 8 plate because this was real flimsy. Put it on a stand. Got some, uh, I think they're Blue Max uh, tires. Changed all the bearings in there. The bottom wheel. Uh, got the Carter guards on there. Nice, pretty blue. This saw I used to have a jack shaft that bolted right here and the belt from the motor came up to this and then to this with a stepper pulley same thing on the motor had a stepper pulley and what I did was I bypassed that because now we have the same amount of ratio we have a one and a half pulley uh, to a the stock cinch, six inch pulley which is a one to four ratio this is a marathon um, Y364, if you can't see that. It is a inverter duty one horsepower motor. Fits in there perfect. Got this uh, GS20. It's rated for a one horsepower uh, VFD from uh, Automatic Direct. Automation Direct. Awesome people. Told me everything I needed to know because I knew jack shit about any of this a week ago. Um, so, well, we have it wired up 110, three phase going out into the motor, and I have the original wire uh, from the machine that went to the uh, motor. So, how you turn this on is hit the original switch. That turns the VFD on. And if you want to run it, it's set at 57.92 hertz right now, but the lowest we could go is something like four. It'll actually start at two or three, but we'll just put it at four or five. And then you press run. And it's spinning about, if the math correctly, uh, 90 RPMs on the motor pulley. To put that in perspective, that's how slow the wheel is. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm somewhere, this is somewhere around uh, 100 feet per second, uh, 100, I'm sorry, 100 feet per minute. And uh, there's no problem with the load. I mean, I know this isn't metal, and I'm gonna cut wood with this, but I'm just gonna jam this in here. I don't even have my guide set up right. There, uh, I just lifted it up. But here, just to give you a demo. Oh. The teeth must be. Yeah, that's what that is. It's grabbing it. So, what's probably happening when I do that, too, is this is slipping. Watch. So, the motor's actually turning. So, the motor would pull it would would do it and if you watch the amps on this sucker when you do that there's your amps it'd probably jump up to four amps or so so it it wants to give the horsepower but it doesn't have it anyway let's turn this sucker up Quarter speed. A lot faster. Oh, the video is making it look like it's going in reverse, but. That's maybe uh, 600 feet per second. Crank this sucker up to 120 because 120 hertz because that's what the motor is rated at it can go twice the speed it's an 18 or, uh, 1800 rpm motor here's that maximum speed Let's see if i can do that <laughs> like 
nothing. Butter. And if you want to stop it, you just press it. And I have it slow start. Slow stop. Slow start. Run. All in one now. Just got to change the blade when you want to cut uh, when you want to cut steel. But for everything else, wood, aluminum, plastic, um, you know, it's perfect. And uh, this screen, since I turned it off, I turned the main power off. This screen just pops out of here. And I have to find this plug and that plug and uh, I'm just gonna put this I'll make a little plate or I might just take that out of there and oh, you got it upside down dude and just put that right there and bam complete variable speed so